Hey guys, in this video I'll show you how to recheck engine codes and live data using a launch Millennium 90 car scanner. It comes loaded with all car models and has free updates, so it will work even on your models. To start, go to Diagnose, and there are two ways to connect to the car. There's OBD2, and there's the car specific scan. I'm going to start by doing the car specific scan, which gives access to specialized modules like the ABS and SRS. And now I have a few options available. Diagnose is for checking and erasing codes as well as live data. The oil lamp reset function will clear the oil change light. This car doesn't have one. Brake reset will clear the brake warning light. Again, it doesn't apply to this car. Steering angle recalibrates the steering. On this car, it can recalibrate the torque sensor. DPF is for diesel particulate filter. Battery change is for hybrid cars and the bleeding function will help to bleed air out of the ABS system. So I'll go to Diagnose first, select the latest version, and I'm in North America. I'll select Automatic here. So I have ABS module and SRS modules available. Let's check the ABS first. Once inside the module, you can read and erase codes and read live data. To read the codes, press OK. And I don't have any codes here. And if you had any, you can go to erase fault data and erase the codes. To read the live data, go to the third menu, press OK. And we have all kinds of information here. I'll start with the vehicle speed. And to read the information, you can select an individual item just by scrolling on it and pressing OK. Or you can read all the items at once, just press OK at the top and then press back, and that will get all the information. And you can see the speed is all zero. I'm gonna press back. And I'll go to the next menu, which is Diagnosis. So there's some engine and other information here. I'll press OK to select all of them. Press right to go to the next page. I'll select all of them again, and then press right again, and get the last of the information. Press back. And here's all the info, and to scroll to the next page, just press the right. And that's all there is. I'm going to press back twice. Next one is sensor status. Now I'll select all items on both pages. And press back. And here's the status of all the sensors. And there's the second page. So I'll press back. Now there's the switched lamp and buzzer. Let's see what info we have here. Select everything, press back. And there are some switches here. You can see there's a stop light switch here. So I'm just going to press the brake pedal. And you can see that went from off to on. So this info is really useful for checking if switches are working or not. You can just see the info here and press a switch and see if the indicator changes. So I'll go back again. And let's check solenoid status. So there are two pages here. I'll select everything. Press back. And here's the status for all the ABS solenoids. They're all off because the car is not even moving. I'll go back. Let's check relay status. There are just three relays here. And you can see which relay is on or off. Next is system control. So there's a lot of info here. I'm going to select all the pages. And here's all the info from system control. And there are two pages. So there's everything, and I'll go back. And lastly, there's sensor monitor. So this shows the status of each sensor monitor. If anything unusual is detected, it will show up here. I'm gonna select both pages, and there's one more page. So if any sensor is not working right, this won't show normal here. And it looks like all of my sensors are working okay. So let's go back all the way 
and I'm gonna go to the SRS airbag next. So again, there's read and erase faults here in current data. Let's see if there are any faults. No faults. If you have any faults, you can erase them using the second menu. And let's read the current data. So there are seven items here. I'm gonna select all of them, press back. And here's all the live data for the SRS system. So if you do a buckle or undo it, you will see it change here from unset to set. I'm gonna go back all the way to the main menu and select OBD2. So let's connect with OBD2 now. So this is the current status, the MIL or check engine light is off and all the eight modules that support readiness have completed, meaning that there are no faults detected. I'm gonna press okay here. So same as the other modules, I have read and erase codes and a few other options here. Module readiness, live data stream, freeze frame, O2 sensor test, onboard monitoring, evap test and vehicle information. So let's see if I have any codes and there are no fault codes. Press back. Again, if you need to erase them, just go to erase. Let's see what we have under I am readiness. I'm gonna select since DTCs were cleared. So I have a few monitors here and their status looks all okay. There's one more page and everything looks good. So I'll go back. Let's check data stream. You can view items as numbers or as a graph. I'm gonna view them as numbers. The car is off, so these sensors are not picking up too much data, but you can also have somebody drive the car and check these items in the same time. So I'll just go quickly through everything. And let's go to the next menu. Freeze frame. That's not available on this car. O2 sensor test. So the first sensor is not available on this car. I'll just show you the second one. So it's just a test to show you if the O2 sensor has passed or failed. There's a minimum and maximum limit and it's within the limits. Onboard monitoring shows all the individual monitors. There are 10 monitors and you can check each monitor manually. Just go to it and it'll tell you if it has passed or failed and what the value has been. EVAP system test is not available on this car. It will just say it failed. And vehicle information will give you the VIN and some calibration codes. So that's it for the OBD2. I'll go back all the way to the main menu. Beside diagnose, you have review. You can review all the saved data from DTCs and live data. And there's also settings. You can change the language, unit of measure, and if there's a beep when you press a key down. And there's also a help function. You can look up DTCs here by entering the DTC. And you can look up abbreviations by selecting them. And there's a little bit more info here about the tool and about OBD. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I'll be posting more car, home and other repair videos in the future. Thanks for watching!